Welcome to today's episode of PS Educate Me. We are going to read Gigi and Jacques' Adventures in Paris, written and illustrated by Maureen Edgecombe. Gigi loved her Paris. Jacques loved his Paris too. Gigi's Paris was très chic. She had a nose for style. Gigi was very, very fashionable. Jacques Paris was bon magnifique. He had a nose for creating masterpieces. Jacques was very, very, well, Jacques. Even though each knew a different Paris, one day they met in the park. Gigi, mon chéri, let me show you my Paris, Jacques said. Oh, no, Jacques, it isn't fashionable to go about without one's mistress, Gigi replied. Come on, alas, let's go to Paris. But how, Gigi asked. I can get us into places. I can pull some strings. We'll see about that, Gigi snapped, and they slipped away. Down the Champs Elysees, through the Arc de Triomphe, to the cafes and patisseries, to fascinating places, bidding the shopkeepers bonjour. Down the cobbled streets, to see a mean fantastique, to meet with their friends, and together they watch the sunset on their Paris. But on their way home, the streets looked different. The shops were dark with no shopkeepers in sight. Today became tonight and all was dark, cold, and lonely. Nothing looked the same. They were lost. How could they find their way home through the dark streets where they had never been? Just then, Jacques spotted a large, empty basket. Entrez, Gigi, quickly, vite. We can stay warm in here. Jacques knew that with the sunrise, he could find their way home. They soon fell asleep in the cold Paris night. It was almost tomorrow when, uh-oh. They dreamed of clouds and soft breezes and fields to run in. They dreamed of the Eiffel Tower and all their favorite places. When suddenly the sun popped up and so did they. My dog, mon chien, Jacques, Jacques, pull some strings, Gigi barked. So he did into the arms of Philip and Claudette. And Jacques and Gigi knew they would be spending a lot more time together in their Paris. The end. Make sure to press the like button and subscribe so you can hear more read-alouds. Bye.